Hey, it's me, Veronica Drake, and I have a question for you. Have you ever watched a show, maybe a news broadcast or a sports broadcast or a documentary or even a live award show, and you've seen something that loops around the host's ear and it plugs in, and what that is is communication with, well, let's just say mission control, right? So you're out there, you're doing your thing, you're doing the live, you're broadcasting, and mission control, home base, wants you to know something. So what do they do? They talk at you in your earpiece. Well, here's what I know for sure. This is exactly how spirit communication works. I know, I know, pretty simple, right? Well, here's the thing. If you haven't met me, you just don't understand how simple I really am. And I mean that in a really positive way. There isn't anything about spirit communication that needs to be heavy or overwhelming or impossible. There just isn't. I am the simplest person you will ever meet. And here's the thing, if it isn't simple, I don't do it. I used to think I was lazy because I didn't do it, but now I know it just goes against the grain of my naturalness to do anything that's not simple. And so when I made the decision to do spirit communication publicly, professionally, it needed to be simple. It needed to be, I was connected with that earpiece. And so what I really started doing was picturing the little earpiece in my ear. I would just get myself in a zone. I would begin the process of spirit communication by looking at a set of cards. Yes, I worked with cards to begin with. And I would lay the cards out and they would talk to me through my earpiece. Now, Here's the thing. If you don't have an imagination and you can't be creative like that, well, this isn't going to work for you. So what I would say is back it up and find out where along the way you lost your imagination. It's important. We come into this world we don't have any preconceived ideas about anything and what do we do? We look to the people closest to us to guide us. In fact, that's the only reference point we have for survival, right? And so if your family of origin and then the school you go to, the culture, the society, the collective as a whole tells you something different, you're not going to acknowledge it. You're just going to go with the flow because it's what you know. That's most people. Now, when it comes to spirit communication, most people aren't going to go, wow, spirit's going to talk to me in my ear. Most families aren't going to tell you that. In fact, my family, I don't know, they probably still think I'm a little out there with it. But the reality is, first and foremost, we are a soul. Yep, you know, it's cliche. We're a soul having a human experience. And so what that means is we're always connected to mission control. We are always receiving. I mean, without exception, we're receiving. What happens is this earpiece becomes removed, dislodged, loose. The connection gets wonky right? We unplug. And so the only way to make sure that this earpiece is working is to go within and make sure you have your ducks in a row. Now, what do I mean by that? You know, the old cliche, ducks in a row. It means that you want to get right with yourself. You want to get right with who you are and why you're here. You want to do your inner stuff. See, a lot of people in this industry want to just jump in and they want to just do spirit communication. They want to give messages. They want to help. They want to be healers. That's all well and good. But the truth is, until you're doing it for yourself 
and have done it for yourself, your earpiece is always going to be a little bit disconnected, a little bit muffled, and you're going to feel a whole lot of unsure. Now, there are many, many reasons why people want to be spirit communicators. There are many reasons people do it, right? I did it because I wanted to, quite frankly, figure out my life. I had a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. 25 years in therapy, which I love me some therapy. But the truth is, until I started reconnecting to the earpiece, the spirits, my guides, God, higher self, whatever you want to call it, I didn't feel confident in any area of my life. Now, those of you that know me probably know me from Channeling Eric. I started there, I think, maybe a little over four and a half years ago. And if you look back to those early videos, you can see the transformation I've made by reconnecting by going within, by doing the work. I have made major changes in my life since the beginning of Channeling Eric. Not only physical, I've lost 35 pounds. I've come off diabetic medicine. I've battled and conquered depression. I've learned how to heal my body by focusing on my thoughts. I've learned how to reconnect to nature and get messages in places I never thought was possible. And if you're somebody that maybe you just want to be curious about your life or maybe you want to be receiving messages so that you can make better decisions or maybe so that you can ask questions and help yourself and help others, I really, really, really strongly suggest you check out going within. It is my brand new membership. It is not like any other membership that's out there. If you find something like it, bring it back to me. Let's talk about it. This is the membership for women who are ready to plug in, reconnect to their inner knowing, their inner wisdom. They're doing their inner work. They're dancing in the shadows of who they are. They're embracing the shadows of who they are. They're falling in love with their imagination and their creativity. And therefore, getting messages becomes super simple. So if you're her, and by her, I mean usually she's about 40 years old, 40-ish, maybe 45, and she's going, there's got to be more. I need more. I feel stuck. I'm stagnant. This job just isn't cutting it. I need more meaning. What's my purpose? If you are her, maybe you want to plug in. I'll put the link in the comments and you can make the decision. Do you join us or do you consider staying stuck? lacking purpose, feeling unmotivated. It's totally up to you. It's called free will. All right, I'm going to go fine tune. Yep, I got rituals, I got ceremonies, I got practices, I got resources that I teach how to fine tune what comes through. Here is a really simple, really powerful exercise that you can do every single day to begin to receive in your earpieces. And it looks like this. You're gonna wake up, you're gonna take your breath, you're gonna do your morning thing, whatever it is that you do. And I prefer the morning because I feel like, I don't know, I'm most alive in the morning, I'm most connected. I think it has to do with coming off the dream state and just really being in the flow. And then what you're gonna do if you're me, you're going to grab your cup of coffee. You're going to find your favorite little nook, your favorite little place to sit. And you're just going to observe. That's it. You're just going to look around and you're going to see what you see. And you're going to engage every one of your senses. 
sight, see, smell, taste, touch, hear, all of it. And you're going to look at different things in the room that you're in, different objects. Maybe you're going to even look at little paint streaks on the wall, or maybe you're going to see little dust particles flying. And you're going to engage in a conversation using all of your five senses. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up your imagination, the pathway to creativity. And when you do that, you begin to flick on, start the sensors, get the magic going. And so let me give you an example. The other morning I'm sitting here and I was looking at my Christmas tree and I could see mm -hmm. as I looked at it, out the corner of my eye, there was like a little flickering of light. Now it was the light on the Christmas tree, it wasn't spirit. And so I just looked at that light. I turned my eyes, I looked at that light and I engaged my senses. What did that light want to say to me? What was I hearing it say to me? What was the feeling coming off the light? And before you know it, I'm completely relaxed. I'm completely merged with the light and I'm ready to ask the question that I want to receive the answers to. Now, like anything, this is going to take practice. I don't expect that this is going to happen tomorrow for you, but what I do expect is that you're willing to show up and do the work. And so this is one little technique that you can use to go within. Now, try this, give it a day, give it a week, and let me know what you come up with. I'm really curious. All right, guys, have fun.